I was groomed to be a journalist, perhaps a politician by my father and an uncle until high school, I think it was middle school, math teachers who discovered my math skills. I used to solve the problems backward and uh, he cultivated that in me. Uh, so when I finished my high school, um, I wanted to do something that has a lot of math and physics. Uh, and I became a nuclear engineer because it was the field that had most, more math and physics than any other fields. That's what I cared about, is being able to use my love for math and physics to solve problems. Dr. Hussein is actually, he's really into the student activities, he's really support the students. Um, so, you know, I personally, I actually find it very, very refreshing. My legacy is my graduate students really, because it's a very intimate relationship. And many of them here in Canada and abroad are leaders in their fields. I pass the torch. That's, I hope that's my legacy. And when they do the same to others, uh, this is what I value most, and the ability to influence the other students. There's no one, you know, one single thing that, you know, um, make him, you know, um, you know, the the, you know, the the best candidate for this award. But it's actually the many different things that he committed himself. You know, he actually, you know, um, invest the time to actually, you know, make our faculty a better faculty, um, to make our university a better university, and also to promote our university to the international audience. When I came to Saskatchewan, uh, I got attracted back to my basic nuclear engineering background and uh, I led a, I'm leading a project on small modular reactors, small reactors that can power small community, whether an isolated community in the north or a local community uh, here in an urban setting like university campus or a hospital. So combination of what you can call the peaceful uses of nuclear technology or as you used to call it, Atoms for Peace. Congratulations on your Outstanding Achievement Award. You really deserved this award. Thank you for all the things that you did for this faculty. Thank you. I want to dictate this award to my mentor, uh, Dr. Dan Minelli, who passed away about a year and a half ago. And I want to thank my colleague, Dr. Kelvin Ng, for nominating me. Saskatchewan made me feel at home, uh, made me feel part of the community. I, I am privileged and honored to be a citizenship, a citizen of Saskatchewan, if I can call that, resident of Saskatchewan, and a member of APEX. Thank you.